This is a lesson on conducting experiments. So an experiment in this case could be um, taking a counter out of a bag, um, rolling a die, which is a single dice, or even flicking a um, spinner and letting it land. So thinking of experiments in that way, we are going to first um, predict the likelihood of each outcome um, for the, each experiment using the vocabulary that we've been practicing, uh, possible, impossible, likely, unlikely, and certain. Um, and then you're going to actually perform the experiment and see if your outcome matches the prediction, because it might not, might not always do that, but you're going to see if it does. So here's an example. Um, you will need a container and counters. So maybe like a bucket or a little box. We've got a bunch in the classroom. Um, you will need the following counters. You need uh, one yellow, two blue, two green, and seven red. Put all of those into the container. Now before you do anything uh, with that, just imagine you're going to predict. So imagine you took one counter out of the bag or the box or whatever you have. Um, and is each outcome below uh, going to be possible, unlikely, likely, or certain? So we're not going to worry about possible, um, but we're going to worry about all the other words. So pause the video right now and decide if blue, green, yellow, red, and orange is one of these four words. Then play the video again to see if you were correct. Okay. So this is what you should have got. So blue and green um, each have two. And this makes it unlikely that you'll pick them. Um, there are more blue and green than there is yellow, which is also unlikely. But it's still not very likely that you'll pick a blue or a green because there are seven red. right? If you add yellow, blue, and green together, it still doesn't equal the same amount of red. Okay, which means that red is likely. So if I pick a counter, the most likely option is red. It's unlikely green, blue, yellow, and is it, it is impossible that there is orange because there is no orange. Now what you need to do is you're going to have, um, everyone's going to have different answers. So I'm not going to record answers for this one, um, but what you're going to do is take one counter from the bag and then record the color in a tally chart. Hello, Caitlin. And Caitlin just came in the classroom, so that was the hello, Caitlin. Um, anyways, so you'll take a counter out, put a tally mark in whatever color it is, then replace the counter, shake the bag or container or whatever, and then put it, take another count out, mark down what color it is, put the counter back in, and continue on. Do this 50 times. It seems like it will take a long time, but it won't take that long. It'll probably, it'll take you less than five minutes to do. Um, next, once you do that, um, you need to explain your results. So look at the results and compare them to uh, what we said was unlikely, likely, and impossible, and uh, see if it matches or if it doesn't match and explain why that might be. Um, if you need another example of an experiment, there's one that's um, explained in detail on page 283 of your textbook. Actually, I was wrong. That doesn't make sense because 283 is questions, so that means that you're going to have to change this on yours. 281 is where you can find the other experiment, um, and it explains how to, or show us how to explain your results and stuff. So if you need that, you can read through it. But most of you, um, I don't think, needed me to read it to you. You can just read it. Um, and then once you're done that, experiment here. And if you need the other example to read, then do the assignment on page 282 to 283. And it's numbers 1 to 6.